My name's Norman. I'm 62. I've suffered from uh, ED since around the age of 40. Uh, I initially experimented with online pills, got the generic kinds and whatnot. Uh, did that. That worked. Did that for four or five years. Um, then I decided to check in with a urologist about testosterone, had that test. Uh, it turned out to be low. So we got that resolved. And in doing so, I also got a prescription for um, the uh, name brand Viagra. I did try Cialis first, didn't really like that. Um, went back to the Viagra, uh, continued that for the last 10 years. The, um, the problems that, that, would, that I experienced with that, I get, well, the, the, the good thing is, it, it worked usually without a problem. Uh, however, you would have always the head flushing, the uh, uh, sinuses would be an issue, uh, maybe a headache, and so on. So, And you never know if it was always going to work 100% of the time. So that was a, always a little bit of a, of a downside. The doc had suggested the, an implant, I was reluctant at first, didn't really think that would be something that I would look into um, and just put it off. Uh, I had a friend of mine, good friend, he had had prostate surgery, cancer, and um, over a period of, he had that roughly five years ago or so. Anyway, he got an implant uh, six months ago and was raving about it. I was once I had a good conversation with him about it, then I was less reluctant to the to the to the mental aspect of the implant. the The good part about what uh, Dr. Kaplan did for me was his procedure is a single procedure above the the pubic base, and he accesses the scrotum um, uh, as well as the the insertion of the plant uh, the implants. Point is, it's one incision. Uh, my buddy, he had two. He had one in his scrotum that he uh, said it was the size of a softball for a, you know about a month, extremely painful and so on. So anybody contemplating this, I would strongly recommend a single single access point for the for the procedure. And honestly, it was it was there was significant soreness, not no swelling, but soreness because there's two access points on the head of the penis that. You know they had to go in and pull the tubes up, and to the to the uh, to the tubes. So, you know it's a it's a foreign object in your body. I, that's only only I didn't have any soreness in the incision area, none in where the uh, the reservoirs were placed. Uh, the ball in the scrotum that took some getting used to. You know, give anything a week and you were good to go. It's not something you want to jump off and get initially. I would. I would think that it depends on the severity of your situation. If uh, if you can medicate it and you're happy with the results, then go that route initially. Uh, it is an invasive procedure. There is you know something that's inserted in your body, which you know there always is a little bit of a, of a concern there, obviously. So, um, it, but in, in 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 retrospect, my history, I went through the the, the medications, went through that process. And came out the other end 15 years later going, okay, well, I should have done this a lot sooner. Uh, George Urology has always been first class. I mean, there's never been an issue. Um, I mean, it's they're professional and timely, efficient, and so on. So uh, never any issues there whatsoever. All the personnel has been first class. Dr. Kaplan, um, I just called him made an appointment. Basically, it was in my network. So I lucked up getting him. And... Uh, Guys, extremely knowledgeable, um, plain speak. Uh, uh, you know, he he's he comes across very caring, of course, but knowledgeable and trustworthy. And um, uh, you know, my experience with the guy's been 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 a one. The procedure itself, again, what he does is one incision versus two, and that I can't imagine doing two, having your scrotum cut. And then you know, with the uh, with the pop inserted there, that's just 
you know, that would be very painful. And my, my buddy had that. That's what he'd done. And it was, his was the size of a grapefruit for about a month. So not good. But yeah, I, would, I couldn't uh, speak more highly of Dr. Kaplan.